I'm Father Andrew Infanger. I'm from the Archdiocese of Milwaukee, and I'm the associate pastor at St. Francis Cabrini and St. Mary's Parishes in West Bend, Wisconsin. Hi, my name is Father Peter Infanger. I'm Andrew's father and a new father. I am from St. Michael's in Wheaton, and I'll be serving the people of God at St. Walter's in Roselle. And a little bit about my own journey to the priesthood. I started maybe more officially discerning the priesthood in the seminary after I had been living in Wisconsin for uh, about two years. I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, where my father and mother raised me in the suburbs of St. Louis, but it moved to Wisconsin. And the short story of it was uh, I had always um, you know, looked up to priests, I suppose, but I had never really wanted to be one myself. And, and after having spent a year living with one and working at a parish, um, just sort of God sort of moves into your heart a little bit and, and calls you. And so I had made the jump to go into the seminary. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, that's kind of the minute version. I could go, I don't know, I could go on a, a lot longer, but yeah. So uh, my story is a little bit longer. Uh, you have a minute though. I have a minute, now okay. You have 45 seconds. <laughs> okay. Um, basically, I had a spiritual awakening uh, 31 years ago uh, when I was age 34 during the lowest point of my life when I was struggling at work and at home. And my wife and I uh, finally separated. Basically, I've been following the world's way and work can be a fickle God. And if you don't have your priorities straight with God first, wife second, family third, and work much lower down, you're gonna have problems and that's what we had. But while I was separated, uh, I had a distant cousin in St. Louis who came alongside and introduced me to a God who knows me my name, has a plan for me and loves me beyond all telling. And he also introduced me to the Bible, which I'd never read. And through that, God brought my marriage back together. We got back together with my wife, got back together with my children and grew in the Lord. I do know this, that after my spiritual awakening, I was proselytizing my wife. I was uh, soon in three different Bible studies. I wanted to quit my job and do some kind of full-time helping ministry. And my wife said, gosh, you've gone off the deep end. And so I think in some ways, my new path was formed at that time. But my wife was a stay-at-home mom and didn't want me to quit my job. And so I agreed to do marketing for another 28 years, almost three decades, until I was 62, and then could retire early and then do um, helping ministry full time. So, uh, you know, and I think that's part of what it means to be married is that you've got to lay down your will. And that's part of what it means to be a Christian is to lay down your will. And that's what Jesus asked me to do for 28 years. And so I did all of my helping ministry and my Bible studies and my confirmation catechist, etc. I did all those things on the side. Seven years ago, the job I had was moved up to the Chicago area, turns out the Joliet Diocese, and in the midst of that move, my wife dies from cancer. And it causes me to ask all the big questions. Why am I here? Where am I going after here? And what does God want me to do? My son, uh, Father Andrew, I, I had told him I was gonna get my, uh, my uh, vocation in line with my priorities. And, and do something in more of a helping ministry and uh, like Catholic Charities. And he said, that's not a vocation. He said, there's basically three vocations. There's a religious life, some sort of religious or priestly service, uh, chaste, generous, single life, and the uh, permanent uh, marriage, uh, sacramental marriage. And so he said, why don't you think about your vocation and then think about your job. And uh, starting to think about the priesthood as one possible vocation and, uh, and then entered seminary.
have my dad as a priest is basically just like having my dad as my dad. It's not too much, it's not too different than before, which I suppose might not be the answer people expect, but it's just, in my mind, he's just my dad, and I'm glad that you're a priest. You know, I don't, no offense or anything, Dad, I don't, I don't see you as Reverend Father Peter. <clears throat> I just think of you as Dad. But it's nice, you know, I think it, from the outsider perspective, I think people find it more interesting than I do, which maybe that's a shock or a scandal or something like that, but... Um, you know, I probably, I might, but I might not go to you for confession. Uh, you know, unless it's an emergency, then I'll, then I'll, then I'll stop by. But uh, you know, it's, yeah, that. Um, it if people find it much more interesting from the outside than I do because it's just he's my dad, you know, and that that didn't change at all. So, I would say for myself, first and foremost, you're always a father, as a dad, a natural father. But there have been times where we've been able to share stories and kind of help each other. But I think Andrew's right that from the outside, it, it's more unusual because the church stopped having priests and children around the year 1000. So it's been very infrequent since that time. So, and frankly, I think there's a lot of vocations out there. A lot of people who are in the seminary have got a father who is a deacon. Uh, or studying to be a deacon or considering to be a deacon. So I, I encourage anyone out there whose father or child is having a vocation to cons can encourage their... And I, I grew up parent. with him preaching to me, so, you know, there's no... <laughs> no news. That's, no, that's nothing new either. All right. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard every homily already. <laughs> I'm hoping that my life experience of being married for 34 years and having children will help me minister to families uh, in the parish. And I know that God uses everything that we do uh, to help uh, further his kingdom. And so I'm grateful for everything that's happened. I'm uh, grateful for my family and my wife, late wife and all. So um, I'm, I'm looking forward to helping out and, and being a part of the uh, plan of furthering the kingdom.